Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I hope you are enjoying different videos on my channel. Please subscribe to our channel and share the videos with your friend. Please, please also suggest other another topics which you would like us to cover. Okay, today's topic is that how is Kafka different from traditional queues like ActiveMQ, RabbitMQ or any JMS based MQ. So uh, you might have faced this question uh, from multiple people if you have suggested them to use Kafka. This is a very common question that uh, uh, people have and uh, I have not seen uh, many people who are clear with the answer of this question. So I thought it will be a good idea for me to share uh, my thoughts on it, uh, whatever knowledge I have about this topic. So let us start with this. So uh, Kafka as we all know, you know, first basic difference, if you ask what is the difference between Kafka and MQ, everybody will say that Kafka is a distributed queuing system and ActiveMQ is not distributed. Yes, that is true from architecture point of view. But what is the difference in the philosophy of these two systems? So Kafka is based on PubSub architecture and ActiveMQ is based on JMS based uh, uh, specification, Java messaging system based uh, specification. It is a traditional messaging queue. Uh, so how these two are different? Let us understand it. So if, as soon as the consumer picks up that message, that message is deleted. There is no retention in that. In Kafka, once you put a message in a topic, uh, then you can, uh, you can be assured that that message will be there for a certain period of time. Kafka doesn't delete that message for a certain period of time. Every message has a retention policy, uh, re retention time with it. So uh, even though I as a consumer has read a message from Kafka topic, I can go back again and read it because you know I my process who was reading the message and uh, uh, processing the message may have failed. So I can go back and ask the message again from Kafka if it is available on the Kafka queue, Kafka topic. So that's how uh, the retention policy of uh, a PubSub system is different from uh, retention policy of uh, message queue system. Order, uh, order of the message. So Kafka makes sure that you receive your messages in a definite order. Uh, a message who was sent earlier is received first, then the message which was sent later so it is very useful in uh, in stock market kind of uh, situations where you have a ticker information uh, where you have a price of uh, stock market information and you are giving it to multiple folks and uh, you want them to receive this information in ordered manner they, you want them to know that when was uh, the price of stock more and uh, at what time the price of stock was low because uh, how people buy and sell a stock is very much dependent on in what which order it is received. So order of the message is very important. So at that situation, you should use Kafka. Uh, ActiveMQ doesn't guarantee that order. It does. It just guarantees the delivery of the message, but it doesn't guarantee uh, the order uh, in which that messages are being delivered. So uh, in Kafka, we can have multiple consumers of a message. So uh, there are uh, different uh, consumers who can read the same, a uh, same consumer also can read the same message multiple time and different consumers also can read the same message. In, in messaging, traditional messaging systems, once a message is read, it is removed from the queue. It is deleted from the queue. So you can't read it again. So wherever you have a situation of multiple consumers, you can uh, use Kafka. In active MQ and traditional queues, if you have multiple consumers, you may have to create multiple queues, one queue for each consumer. So which is like duplication of data and all that stuff comes into picture. Last but not the least, Kafka is a distributed system. It has more throughput. Uh, it gives you more scalability. It is more reliable than any of the traditional uh, queuing system, you know, as per, uh, you know, what I understand. Uh, active MQ or any of the traditional system, if you use, they are they are not uh, that scalable 
you you will not get if you have huge number of events coming in in very small amount of time uh, it will be difficult to scale that so all the big players like uber uh, netflix linkedin uh, microsoft they are using kafka because they receive so many events in a very small interval of time and they want to present process those events uber is using it to match their uh, uh, cab request with the relevant video thanks a lot